hi guys i'm going to show you in this tutorial like how we can remove the registry entries from the target system if those have been got uh, installed with the installation of your software right so first of all uh, the registry entries which have been created by our installer are being removed automatically we do not need to make any kind of effort manually to remove them in case those are not getting uh, removed then what we can do as a troubleshoot i will be telling you right now so first of all for the automatic removal of registries entries please make sure that the components which are associated to those registry keys have same processor platform as the installers one has i mean to say that let's say i have a registry entry and this registry entry is associated to the component executable and uh, my component executable has a platform 64 bit no that means it is 32 bit so that means my installer should also must also have a same configuration i mean to say they should be intel that means they do it right then second thing is there to make sure is in case if still those registry keys are not getting removed then you can change the component code of those associated components via component node so what i'm saying is that go to the component node as you can see that I have already associated the registry with this no component so what I can do is I can just change this component code and then uh, try with the installation and uninstallation right so this is the another way now if none of them works or not both of them works then you need to remove the menu you need to use the manual registry removal process use this process only if you cannot make sure automatic removal of your registry keys while at installation for this case what you need to do is that you need to write a custom action you can write registry removal code in any type of custom action like install script powershell vb script or your nex or anything else in my case what i'm doing is that i am writing install script code to do the same job so for this case let's go to the install script i am here new script right now i will be just changing the function remove registry right i am using this function here now I will be writing few code I have already written the code somewhere so first of all I will be referring that code here so the code says like this I will be setting you know that I have what I how I have configured my registry entities so let me show you first so basically I have configured my registry entities in that it's inside the local base key in the software key like my key name is jadugar and my value of the key is my test and there is a component associated with this executable and i am saving the value of my configuration text property so come to this install script code here i have set the key to 32 bit right so for 64 bit support at this line before you call any registry uh, API in the install script so this is for the 64 bit so this is for these 32 bit for 64 bit uh, one minute what, what, what I'm saying is that uh, okay this is is specific to the 64 bit right I am just commenting it because I need to use 32 bit because my registries are already on, are on the 32 bit right so i am just setting the base uh, key first like uh, i am setting the path like whether 
I will be finding the registry entry in a 64-bit path or 32-bit path. By deciding this, I will be able perfectly able to catch my key to remove, right? Now, second thing is that I will be setting my base my base key which is local so in this line i have set my base key after that uh, you know that in the software for key i have a key with name jadugar so let me just copy paste copy the same name here right come to this install script code okay in success so basically this function deletes the key the key name is Jadugar and uh, I have not declared the local variables so let me just declare it number success right so this is the way now if the value of success is zero let me just show you what I am saying. This is not that much easy. I am saying that if it is didn't got removed properly perfectly, then I will be writing a message. Message would be write uh, res db exist if it doesn't if this registry key was not removed perfectly then i will be checking whether that registry exists or not if this exists then i will be saying relevant registry could not be removed due to some technical issue if the registry entry does not exist that means relevant registry entry could not be removed because registry could only be identified on the road right so ultimately saying this kind of error i can i can show up right so my my install script code is ready and now what I will be doing is that I will be just writing a custom action. In this custom action, I will be writing remove my registries next install script. So next, next, next. As you can see that I have to run this install script uh, while an installation phase, right? So I will be using it after install initialize and with the condition like remove. Now it is for 32 bit. So I am just firstly, uh, I am just firstly compile it, build it. As of now, let me check whether there is any Jadu or not. As of now, you can see that on 64 bit path there is no Jadu, and on 32 bit path also we don't have any Jadu, right? So it is done. After I am going, I am going to install the software. starting it next 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 this is manual removal test next install so let me just refresh my registry entries as you can see that there is a jadugar my test and the value is manual removal test right now i will be uninstalling it and my code will run exactly So basically you can see that an installation has been completed 
and now if I just refresh my registry entries then I am not able to see Zalora so ultimately saying if you are not assured of automatic uninstallation of your registry entries then you can write some custom code like I have written in a install script install script code and you can manage the things right so this is the way to manage the things manually and I have few recommendations like uh, first of all uh, if the registry app is, uh, is not got removed then you need to change the component code or whatever it is uh, and a few other things are also available but the, those are basically specific recommendations I will be just posting few command few uh, links which I got uh, while exercising these things right I will post you those things in the description box so this is the way to manually uninstall the manually uninstall the history and with your component associated so that's it from my side thanks mm -hmm.